that the Holy Ghost told them to do this. Come on, help me. Three people. And in a vision appeared to Paul in the night, there stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathered that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel unto them. God through the come on, stand to your feet. I'm out of time. Come on. No, let's no, no, stay until tomorrow. Come on, stand to your feet. I know you want to stay. No, come on, wake up and go. Whether you heard it or not, we leave. Paul, after communing with the Holy Ghost, heard twice, don't preach. Then God gave him a dream, and from the dream, the Holy Ghost said, now go preach. I'm helping only three of you. See, the reason why God, I believe, gave this, this message is because in the last days, many shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, I, now, don't lift your hands and don't even start smiling about it either. How many of you remember when you was a seducer? Stop it, man. They know it's you now. Remember when you was a seducer? You were good at it. Come on, three of y'all. Don't, don't, don't say nothing, please. See, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Forbidden to marry, right? Abstaining from meats which are offered, you know, to God with sanctification, right? These things are not only in the church, but they're in us. See, I have to warn us today. You have the same ability to start a cult. Without communing with the Holy Ghost, you're not going to know you're wrong. When those people created those religions, communism, Marxism, socialism, it all started as an idea, a philosophy that did not get checked by the Holy Ghost. You got to get me out. I know you enjoy what I'm saying, but get me out of here. I'm helping you. Listen to me. We're at the end of the world. Your opinion has either been given to you by God or the devil. I'm going to help three of y'all. See, all y'all want to be cute now. If your opinion does not line up with the word of God, it did not come from man. It came from the devil. We're not afraid anymore. We say what we think and think what we say. But God is trying to get a people in the last day that will not lean onto their own understanding. A people that will what? Understand the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. A people that will understand the love of God. And a people that will commune with the Holy Ghost. Where are you today? Has God chastised you and you hit him back? Come on, there's children that rise up against their parents. They need to thank God they, that the, the Holy Ghost cops didn't destroy them. And it's us. We backtalked our parents, backtalked teachers, backtalked pastors. We talk bad about our government. It's us. But God had mercy on us. We held opinions of devils. Wives don't know how to be wives. Husbands don't know how to be husbands. Sons don't know how to be sons. Fathers don't know how to be fathers. Mothers don't know how to be mothers. And daughters don't know how to be daughters. Holy Ghost is going to help us. I feel like throwing this pulpit, but then you'll think I lost my mind. I'm coming down here. I want to finish this story right here, right in front of you. I sit where you sit. I walk where you walk. The same devils that attack me attack you. The only difference between me and you, if there is a difference, I know him. I know the devil. 
some of you don't even know him. Can I tell you who the devil is? I mean, you know, you know Satan and Lucifer. Can I tell you about another devil? It's the old Jew. If you got saved and if you got born again, the devil himself has to disguise, disguise himself as the old Jew. That's why he gets away with it. There was a movie. Julio's here. He remember this movie. Called Face Off. The husband of a, cr a criminal took the face of the husband of a cop. And he slept with his wife, played with his kids, ate his food. See, the devil's got your old face. And he puts it right back on you. And the only way to escape him is with the grace that only comes from your weakness. Grace is not going to come when you're strong. The love of God is only going to come when God has to correct you or answer your prayer or the communion of the Holy Ghost when you know I'm hearing from a voice that is not my own. If this was a crusade, I'll have a grand altar call and we'll spend like 36 ounces of oil on everyone's forehead. But we're not going to have that altar call because each and every one of us has the same desire that we would know more of the grace of God, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost. If I'm wrong, wave to me. See, I know I'm not wrong. But some of you need to make the adjustment. And I, it may seem funny, but I'm just going to be honest with you. Your belly is where the Holy Ghost wants to live. Some of you are draw, you're throwing soft drinks down there. Hard drinks. Food. Greasy food. Spicy food. And that spicy food is giving you dreams. And you think it's God. You had a nightmare. Your husband left you. It was the sausage. Come on. And then you, got, you wake up in the morning with an attitude with somebody in your family. And you said, the Holy Ghost told me in a dream. Come on. I, I, there's people that say, well, the Holy Ghost told me you was going to do that. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. What did you eat? We need to change your food. We need to change the name of the food. Holy Spirit food. Because many of us are hearing from our stomachs but I am I, I am of the persuasion that we can do some radical things in the last moment of today's service and get a change anybody want to do something radical anybody have a mirror now I'm gonna make we're gonna create a mirror it's gonna scare the hell out of some of you the rest of you are just gonna find out that you're scary I want you to find somebody now, if you're not related to them or if they don't trust you, don't try this. And do not do this at home. What I want you to do is I want you to go to one person and, and look in their eyes until you see yourself in the reflection of their little eyeballs and say, you're not going to run my life no more. Until you, go ahead, look in their eyeballs. Come on. I'm gonna look in. I'm gonna look in my. Oh, I'm gonna look in my wife. I, oh, I see you. We're not gonna run my life no more. You'll see you. You gotta tell yourself. <laughs> Radical, crazy. The old you will no longer run your life after today. You're gonna learn the grace of God, the love of God. In the communion of the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to thank God. You couldn't find nobody. <laughs> you found somebody that could, you could see their eyes. Now somebody needs to be bold. Get out your seat. Go to 13 people and say, I'm going to check on you.